welcome back to my youtube tutorial this is abn graphics yes on today's tutorial we are just going to introduce ourselves html what is html and then i just want us to uh, also learn what is that particular thing and that particular abbreviation the or the acronym for html what it stand for and then we just move on to also learn the simple uh, html document and then uh we close of the day so uh html is the standard markup language for creating web pages so html is nothing but what a standard markup language for creating what web pages so all the web pages that you see on internet that display on your screen as you are browsing and all that they use html to code it and some use php and some you a whole lot of them and then there are two types or there are or there are two types that you can use to create a web page you can use html and you can also use css that one too is there and javascript you can also add javascript to it for functionality and all that you get that so what is html if they ask you what is html html is the standard markup language for creating what web pages and then the acronym for uh, html stands for hyper text markup language a hyper text markup language the h stands for hyper and the t stands for text and then the m start for what markup and the l stand for what uh, language so is is this kind of combination that they used to uh, to what to create web pages html describes the structure of web page you get that so that's another function of or html and html consists of series of elements it has different elements that you can combine to have that kind of web pages and then html elements tell the browser how to display the content you get that as what we did in the previous video so that particular html elements or that kind of document that when you type in or sorry when you code in in your this thing uh what is the name in your browser uh, this thing, your your text editor and it tells the web page what it can display and what is going to display is what you put in in this particular uh, notepad plus plus you get that so let's look at a, a simple atm document a simple atm document have some kind of coding in it you get that it has some kind of coding in it uh, uh for instance let's say a uh, 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 greater than sorry less than sorry less than then we put a uh, doc tape this particular doc tape also when we go in i'll tell you what is this kind of this thing atml greater than you get that so this you have just given a, a simple html so this is the document and this is what the document contains it contains what html uh, uh it contains a uh, less than doc tape html you get that so if you are starting a web page if you are going to code a web page you start with this there are a whole lot of things that you have to start with but because we are just introducing ourselves on this i just want to show you some simplest uh, and then uh, this is the basics that you just have to learn you get that so when you have something like this the next thing that you have to do is to come up with the html what that uh, document uh, that element so let's say we have html and then we have a what greater than so it means that this one start up and this one close it up you get that so there is how it happens but the whole of this thing to have also have a closing tag and that particular closing tag also goes with html and then if, uh, we call it a forward slash or something you get that html and then greater than this is how the html documents also looks like you get that and then you can also put this and that there is another something that is in that particular these two distance and which is heading it uh, heading so you can put heading just like that and then you close the heading too by uh, less than forward slash and you add heading and you put your at your greater than so this is what this thing too also contains you get that and that particular distance only the heading it also contains another element and which that that particular element is what is the title 
of that particular uh, this thing that, that that particular document that you are going to do what that you are going to display on the internet so let's see we have this and then that one too also going to have a, a closing tag title yes like this you get that yes so for this let's say we can say web tutorials web tutorials just like that so first of all let me just uh open my browser over here and then what we did here let me just do what let me just save it i'm going to save it on my desktop by creating a, a, a this thing a folder for that so let's say let's let me just right click and then i'm just going to do what i'm just going to create a, a, a folder for that one then we can see how we are going to save it and then uh, how possible that this what we are typing in or what we are coding it can easily uh, display on that particular browser or let's say internet you get that yes so i'm waiting for my okay let's have this so we can call this web tutorials let's say let's have this nice and then we can have this so to save an atm document or a web a page what all what we need to do after doing this first thing you should have a what an index so this is my index of that particular website or that particular web page and then i'll have it html so it's called uh, i name it index.html and then save as type the save as type you have to try and save it as all types you get that all types just like that and then you do what you save it now we have saved something like this over there and then uh this is my browser let me open up with this okay then i can have something like this so this is my browser this is where everything is going to do what is going to pop up as i launch it you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do after this is heading uh let's say let me make uh some kind of distance so that you can understand it very very well and then this thing should go over there yes just like that so the next thing again i'm going to introduce for the elements is that i'm going to introduce body and then body and then greater than as you see it the closing tab just appeared because it's already recognized what i'm going to do you get that so i can have it just like that you get that so when you have something like this uh, the next thing in the body that is where everything will display so even where you put an image there it will display on the internet if you put anything there video it will display on the internet you get that so first of all let me say let me come with a heading and that particular heading is called heading one and then i'll close it up with the closing this thing you get that so let me say uh let me type my first my first heading just like that my first heading and that's cool the next thing i'm going to also to put there is my uh first what introduction uh, my first uh what is the name uh sorry uh, my first um the next thing that, again i'm going to put over here is my first paragraph so let's say paragraph start paragraph is the spelling of paragraph is p so p let me say p and then i close it up you get that so let me also type there of oh, my first my first paragraph paragraph just like that paragraph yes just like that you get that so when you have something like this there is an atm document so this is the simplest way an atml an atml document looks like you get that so let's uh do something over here when you check on this particular distance and then you have something like this over there it's called what atm document so let's explain these things uh this less than uh doc tape atml this particular distance this, this particular declaration it defines that this document is an atml uh five document you get that so this particular distance describe it that is what an atml what document and then the element this particular element they are talking about the atml element is the root of element of an atm an atml what 
page so this particular html is very important that is the root of that particular document the whole document here anything that you put there that is the html is the root of that and atm what page you get that yes and the heading let's talk about the heading here the heading the heading element it contains meta information about the html document what is the metadata about the html document when you check on the browser over here this particular distance is part of the heading that is the title you get that and when you check on our distance we also have a title here so there are so many things that you can put there you can put um if you want your web page to have a uh, different languages you can put it in the heading site a whole lot of things and then how you want your browser your, your that particular web page to look wide to look you know somehow to have a good view to your the people to the viewers that are going to watch it that is where you can put those kind of things there and the title the title the title the title elements specify a title for atm document which is shown in the browser title bar or in the pages type you get that so when you check on the distance uh, www.google.com that is the what the title so it normally shows on the what uh, uh, on the browser title bar or in the pages what type you get that yes and then let's come and look about the the, the what is the name let's look at uh, about the what this thing the body this particular body element defines the document body you get that is a container for all the visible contents uh, like such as the headings paragraph images uh, hyperlinks tables lists etc a whole lot of things everything that you want it to appear or to display on that particular web page you can just put it at the what at the body so the body contains a whole lot of things anything that you see on the internet those kind of things are coded in the what in the body section so that is where you can have all those kind of things but let's see what is an html element the an html element is defined by a start tag some content and an end tag you get that so let's see this is element this is atm element and there is another atml what element so that is why they said it starts with the what a first tag some content and an end what tag so this is a start with this element then some content and then and what end tag so this is first tag last tag you get that so there is first tag and there is last tag so this is what we call a uh, an a, a atm what elements you get that so the tag goes here and then the what the the some there's some what there's some uh, write-up or some any kind of content also goes and then the end tag comes there you get that so the html is everything up uh, is everything from the start to uh, from the stack end to the what the end tank you get that so as you check check on uh, this particular this thing uh, less than h h1 uh, greater than my first paragraph uh, less than forward slash what h1 uh, greater than so there is end tag and this is what open tag so there is open tag and this is what end tag so this is how this particular this thing normal happen in on on this particular browsers as you see and let me note this some elements have no content you get that there are some elements it has no content you get that uh, example like br it has no content you get that it has no content let's say let's let me of oh, first of all let me open up uh, that particular this thing and you see something um where is my page let me have something like this and then let me check on the page where i place it oh sorry i can't find a page here. okay let me see let me open up uh, my this thing and then let me look for that um the the okay web tutorials so here is it so let me open it up this is what we are coding you get that so from this i have this my first para my first heading which is uh the heading one and this is what a paragraph and that particular paragraph is two is here my first paragraph you see how it looks now let's talk about 
uh, those elements that have no content like uh let me have a cont a, a distinct a element like br and then i close it up br has no content this is how it will look but let's see the reflection of, over there what is going to happen on there so nothing is here so let me refresh it then when i refresh it you see that it has given it a gap a gap so this kind of thing is just a gap that is just going to appear there so that you can see what maybe you are doing something and you want to give some gap some bridge you get that so over there is called a bridge so you just have to give some gap there so you just have to put br and that uh, this thing will give you a what those kind of things yes so um that is just how uh, the introduction of the html document and it's it's not something that is hard you just have to take your time whilst working on it let's say let's also have something like uh b h r just like that and let's see something either we are just working or we are just playing so let's right click and then do what yes as you can see so right now this one has given us a straight line you get that this thing has given us a what a straight line so these are the content or these are the elements sorry these are the element that has no content you get that like br hr you know you get that yes so there is just an atm uh, document so the whole of this is called what html document and anything over here you can just put it there and that ends the problem but let's talk there is something i wanted to talk about like uh, the css but i think uh, for this i don't want my tutorial to be too long and those kind of things so i just want to uh, let you have this the next tutorial i'm going to show you the the css how that also works then we now we can now start using html uh, what is the name css to do what to to code different web pages to do all that you get that so there is just an introduction of html document thank you very much for watching this is abn graphics and have a nice day bye bye